Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit special to me. We're going to be doing a hike, catch, and cook. But we're going to be doing it backwoods style. I grew up in these woods when I was younger. Brings back a lot of memories out here, man. But uh, not a lot's changed. I know where some spots are that we can go. Um, as you can see, the, the roads have grown up a little bit. But uh, it's a very awesome place. Very special to me, I know, for sure. If we're lucky today, we're going to do a Creekside Catch and Cook. So stick around, guys. This is going to be a good one. When I was a kid, we used to come out here at night and uh, train our dogs running deer. And right here behind me was a, uh, a big oak tree that Locals used to come out here and target practice and put their targets up on the tree and it has since killed it and it's no longer here, which sucks. But uh, this place brings back a lot of memories. Um, the guy that taught me how to shoot a bow used to bring us out here and uh, it's kind of surreal, but uh, kind of brings back a lot of emotions, you know. Kind of going down here in the woods where he used to bring us. Kind of tell we're getting near the creek. Kind of looking swampy. Nice trails down here though. Now guys, when I'm out in the woods, I like to take every opportunity and make every moment count. So I might be fishing out here, but I'm also scouting for the next hunting season. Now, there's a nice trail that I'm on right now. So I'm gonna follow it down into the woods and just see what I could see. This is a nice area, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Guys, I found a nice rub. You know how I know it's a rub? Because it looks like one. guys I don't know how in the world we're going to get down here we have to go down here this little creek and this looks like a spot the old can of worms down here somebody knows what they're doing let's go All right guys, today we're just gonna be using a simple slip bobber setup. I'm fishing probably about, I don't know, two feet deep, two and a half feet deep. I don't know how deep this creek is right here, but I'm gonna be putting a little, I think this is a 1 8 ounce jig head on the bottom. I was using this for uh, speck fishing, but we're gonna try it today for uh, for some brim. There might be some warm mouth in here, uh, but we're just using some little red wigglers today and we're just gonna thread them on the hook. I don't know if you can see this. I have old man eyes anymore. But I'm just going to thread them on just to hide the hook a little bit. And that's it. And that's what we're working with today. Already getting a bite, guys.
and I just caught bait. It's a little red belly. <laughs> Holy moly, this thing is tiny. Look at this. That has got to be... I don't know if you watched the last surf fishing video that I put out, but I had a problem hanging on the fish. And it looks like I'm going to have that same problem today. But I want you to look at this. This thing is like maybe three inches. Maybe. But he is a pretty little guy. But we're going to get him back in. We're going to try it again. quite big enough but man he's got a red belly on him look at that thing super pretty almost like he got ate by something right here he's got some scars All right, William, time to go back. Well, guys, I got a log over here I'm trying to get on. See this spot. Ooh, another little red belly. Ooh, he's a little guy. Yes, sir. He got hooked good. Look at this one. This one's going to be a good fryer. That's what I'm talking about. I can get it up there in that hole. Right here, yeah. Ooh, got him. Got a little guy. Well, I'll put it where I want it, but maybe I scared them off over there. They sure are pretty little guys, though. All right, Wendy, time to go back. All right, y'all, there's something here. Usually on a bend like this, the water gets a little bit deeper, especially in a creek like this. There's a big tree right here. Usually Warmouth will be at the bases of these trees. Hopefully I can get a hold of one of those. I got bit twice right here. Hmm. Yeah, he took my worm right at the... Broke it off right at the base of the, or tip of the hook there. So what I'll do is I'll hide the hook and throw it back down there. Hopefully he'll hit the hook this time. Got 
There he goes. And another little one. Man. They sure are pretty. Go tell your big, big friends. All right, guys, we fished around a little bit. We didn't catch any more bigger fish, so we're gonna have to make do with what we got. I'm gonna get kitchen set up real quick and uh, we're gonna get onto those fish tacos. We finally got that one fish filleted up, so here's what they're looking like. Um, I wanted to highlight this Daddle Gator seasoning. They're based out of Jacksonville, Florida, and I uh, picked this up the other day, so I wanted to showcase these uh, local guys. They're right here from my hometown, so I wanted to give Daddle Gator a shout out. So we're going to use this seasoning today, uh, my first time trying it. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get these guys seasoned up. There we go. So make sure you look these guys up. Again, that's Daddle Gator. So we want to give these guys a try. We're going to start off with some canola oil. Um, I would prefer peanut oil, but I couldn't find a container small enough. So I went with canola, which will work just fine. It has a very neutral taste, so it's going to work just fine. So I'm going to fire this bad boy up. Now I'll probably do a review on this camp stove here in the near future, so stay tuned for that one. And I'm going to cook the skin side down. Flip it just one time. All right, guys. It only takes just a couple minutes for these little pieces to cook. So we're going to go ahead and take them off. Place them over here. Now, guys, we might even get two tacos out of this. I can get it. There we go. Well, here's the moment of truth, guys. We're going to try these fish tacos. So we're going to start off with the pico that I made earlier today. If you want to watch how I made this pico, just stay to the end of the video. I want to include that at the end. So we're just going to take a spoonful and add it here. I like a lot, so. All right. And these are street taco style, so that's basically all you put on street tacos. Street tacos are made to be simple. And that's what I meant for today, so let's do this. Now, I've already put the seasoning on here, so what I might do is I might go ahead and taste this first one. And put a little extra on the second one. Hmm. Now this is the taco lime. You can actually taste the lime. Very good. Let's try a little bit more of this. I'm gonna add a little bit more on this second taco. Let's try to spice it up a little bit. Whoa. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Again, this is Daddle Gator Taco Lime. Jacksonville, Florida. Make sure you check these guys out. All right, guys. Didn't go as planned, but we did catch one good fish. We made two delicious tacos. But I just wanted to take a moment to say I appreciate you guys for watching. If you would like, hit the subscribe button, notification bells, and hit the like button. Until next time, be easy, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, guys. How we're going to make our pico is white onions. Roma tomatoes, make sure they're Roma tomatoes. And just some cilantro. I've already got this prepared for you. I'm sure you didn't want to see that. But on these tomatoes, we're going to have to cut these ribs out. So just take them out, cut the ribs, and then, I don't know if you can see this, but this piece is a little bit too big. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut them down, make thin strips, and just cut them into dices. Now, I'm going to continue cutting these the same exact way. We're going to discard the, the guts here. And then when I get all these dices, I'm going to mix them all up and I'm going to add some, uh, some lime juice, salt and pepper to taste, and this can be our pico. Now you just want to use the flesh part because the insides make it real watery and you don't want your pico to be watery. Makes for nasty tacos. I mean, you don't want your taco to drip. All right, once we get our ingredients cut up, scoop it up, put it in the bowl, and then we will mix it all together. Make sure you add some lime. And it's just standard black pepper. And salt. And we'll mix it all up. And then it's just a simple pico for our fish tacos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave this in this container. And I'm going to put it in my little cooler along with a frozen bottle of water.